thanks for tuning in my wonderful viewers if it is your first time you are welcome after watching if you like what you see please subscribe put on your notification bell so that you will be able to get notified whenever i upload a new video in this platform i give information about germany for the sake of those who want to come here to work to relocate or to do business and i also do motherhood so in this video i am going to be reacting to a series of questions i'm getting from my subscribers those that are asking me how can i get a german working permit or how can i work and live in germany and this is exactly what i'm going to be discussing about in this video you can work and live in germany even if you are not an eu citizen provided that you meet the set eligibility criteria to be allowed to live and work here legally, you must have a German work and resident permit. You don't have to apply for a German work permit separately from a resident permit. You get them both through a single application at the German Immigration Authority Office, that is Auslander Behoda. Most non-EU workers will also have to get a visa from a German embassy or consulate abroad. There are different types of German work permit based on your qualification and employment type. 1. General work permit. You can apply for this type of German work permit if you have found a job in Germany which could not have been fed by an EU national. You don't need to have extraordinary skill as long as you are qualified for the job. Secondly, highly skilled workers permit you can apply for this type of work permit if you are highly skilled work with a lot of experience and a high income now let's look at eligible foreigners who can work in germany anyone who finds employment in germany can apply for a german work permit but the application process and requirement differs depending on where you come from there are three qualifying categories depending on nationality one eu switzerland us canada australia new zealand israel japan or south korea other non-eu nationals Foreign workers from the EU, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Norway, or Iceland. If you are a citizen of the EU, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Norway, or Ireland, you do not need to apply for a visa nor a permit to work in Germany. The only thing you must do is register your stay. You plan to be there for longer than three months. To register your stay, you must visit the local resident registration office, that is Eingewohnend Amt or Immigration Office, Ausland Beholder. Foreign, uh, foreign workers from the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, Japan, or South Korea. If you are from the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, Japan, or South Korea, you can go to Germany find work and apply for the work and resident permit directly from the as lender beholder you do not need to go an entry visa for employment from the german embassy in your home country now this is where i am going to pay much emphasis because the question i am getting is coming from people who are from non-eu nationals if you are from another non-EU national, that is outside the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, Japan, or South Korea, then the work permit application is a little more complicated. You have to, one, you have to find a job, then two, apply for an entry visa for employment purposes from the German embassy, three, Travel to Germany and apply for the work and resident permit at the Auslander Beholder. Then alternatively, you can also apply for a job seeker visa for Germany, find employment, submit your work resident permit application to the Auslander Beholder. Now, what you cannot do is enter Germany with a Schengen visa or through the visa-free agreement and apply for the work permit. 
your application will be immediately rejected. You must have you must prove to the immigration authority that you have entered Germany with the purpose of employment, not tourism. Applying for the German work and resident permit, you have to apply for a single permit for work and resident once you enter Germany at the German immigration authority, Auslander Beholder. Most people also need a visa from the German embassy to enter the country. The apl application process is as follows. One, apply for an employment visa or job seeker visa at the German embassy. Register your living address at the local citizen registration office, Bureau Amt. Get health insurance. Make an appointment at the Auslander Beholder. Gather the required document. Submit the work and resident permit application at the Auslander Beholder. Now, applying for a visa at the German embassy. You can apply for either an employment visa or a job seeker visa for Germany. The type of visa you can apply for depends on whether you have a job offer or not. You apply for an employment visa if you already have a job offer from a company in Germany and you want to enter the country to get a work and resident permit. You apply for a job seeker visa if you want to go to Germany and find a job. It is valid for six months, during which time you have to look for and find work. Once you have found a job, you can then submit your application for the work and resident permit. The employment and job seeker visa are known as long-term visas. You need one so you can enter Germany legally, notifying the authorities that you are traveling for the purpose of setting down and uh, working in Germany before the visa expires. You have to submit the application for a resident permit. Nearly everyone has to apply for a visa for employment, job seeking at the German embassy or consulate general in the home country. You are only exempted from applying for a visa if you are a citizen of the United States of America, Austria, Canada, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Switzerland, or South Korea. In this case, you can simply enter Germany, find a job, and submit your application for a work permit. No entry visas required. Now, registering your living address in Germany. This is when you have found a job. This is now it's time for you to register your residence. Once you find accommodation in Germany and move in, you must go to the local resident registration office bureau and, and register your address. The process is as follows. Contact the local bureau and, and make an appointment. If you are not sure where that is or how to get in touch, simply look up bureau and the name of your city. That is online. You can get it online. So, my dear people, I will end here. Maybe next time I'm going to continue. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, and leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bye-bye.